Welcome. Today we're going to talk about some of my issues with Tick Tick and why I really am going to look for a new task manager as we head into 2024. I really want to do these things around the holidays. So, yeah, this is the time to do it. Before we do that, a few ways to support the channel. Number one, become a member, curtismichael.ca slash membership. Members to get my courses. Members also get all my book notes uh, included and any books I write, stuff like that. Uh, or take a course, curtismichael.ca slash education. Let's dive in to tick tick and some of the issues I have with it. So first off, let's talk about my working environment. First off, I work uh, Mac OS a little bit now, uh, Linux, Fedora 39, uh, first, sorry, 38 specifically, 39 is just out and haven't upgraded yet. Uh, and then I, iOS, iPad OS uh, is my final working environment, which means any tool I use needs to be across all uh, of those platforms. Um, again, specifically as long, really as long as it's on Linux, uh, iPad, I'm probably fine at this point. I haven't fired up my Mac except to rip videos uh, in the last uh, couple weeks. So that brings up my first issue with TickTick, Tick, that there is no quick entry system-wide on Linux. Now, I haven't dug into this, uh, and I was actually just listening to a podcast this morning. So it is possible that because I'm using Wayland in Fedora 38, that um, there's just no uh, system-wide keyboard command. So that's certainly a possibility uh, of something that may be limiting it. But regardless, there is not in Mac OS, I can hit, uh, I think I have it set to command option space and bring up a quick window. And then I can do it. I can just enter a task real quick. Uh, in Tick Tick, my only option is, if we look at my screen share, is to come in here, add a task. And this is actually brings up my second one. Add a task. And I can say, put it with what the caret character. I can add it to say books to process. I can tag this week. I can set a date, right? Tomorrow, I think. Oh, what's the date one? Is that? Oh, I can set priority as another one. Uh, but what I couldn't do is if I had a link to paste in here, I can't paste a link in here into the description. What I need to do is enter it, and then you can see it's come over here. I'll need to come back over to my description, and then I could put in my link. There's no way to fill in the description at the same time as adding the task, unfortunately. So now my next issue, uh, we can just keep using a task here, is this is a good thing, actually. So if I go double square brackets, I can start looking for other task and link to it. That's great. All right, I can do it again. So I'll often use this for... Get grip for front steps. I often use this uh, if I have a meeting coming up on uh, Tuesdays to just make sure that during the meeting I create a task for the meeting and I create a list of everything I need to talk about. Now, my problem now is though, if I turn into subtasks, which I can do easily, and then I hit enter and I want to say link to something else, I don't get the link anymore. Well, why don't I get the link anymore? Like, this is silly. Uh, I can go back again, back up here. I could come into the description and I could link to, can I link to anything? Oh, you can't even link to things now. So as soon as I've turned into like a task thing, I can't link. Now I can come back out of that. All right. Brack, brack. Oh, now I can do it again. All right. Add FN key to my Linux layout. So now I could again turn this into tasks and I'd be okay. I'm going to probably even copy this, copy, turn it into a task, paste. No, nope, can't even do that. So it won't actually let me link back and forth between it if it's a task already. So if I, what if I do it like that? There we go. Now it will let me do it. So this lets me say in the middle of the meeting, open up. Uh, it's actually gonna open up on the web. You can see over here, I could sign in and I can actually see the task that I wanna get to. I prefer, again, if it opened up in the same window. That would be a far better option if it opened up in the same window and opened up like in tick tick right here. But since this is really an electron app, that's not going to happen. It just opens the web. I'd love to have interlinking between my tasks right here. I'd love to be able to continue to can add a task right here, say for my meeting, and be able to add another link. But I can't, unfortunately. Next up, keyboard commands. So there are some keyboard commands. If I hit uh, Control K. All right, or I can add a link there, how do we get it there? So this is again, running into it now. If I hit Control K, there is the big, um, not the big, but I can switch between like calendar views. I hit it again, I can go to task view. I can go to inbox, go to inbox. I can go to, uh, what is it? Can I go to shopping? I can go to my shopping list, which has nothing on it. So this is good, uh, I'm glad I can do that. Uh, but we saw, we have not today. Where is a task? Can I go to a task? Let's find out. A task. Nope. 
Or can I find it? A task right there. So we saw when I was in here, though, and I hit Command-K, it tried to insert a link. Well, that's what it did. Or Control-K, right? It's trying to add a link for me. So we have different keyboard commands. My system-wide uh, command palette is not actually system-wide. It is context-dependent, which is no good. And now, again, if I add a task, right, I'll go back here. So let's just delete this. So this is done. Search for a task. Done. Let's go our test task. And I'll just leave it as it is. So it's going to go to our inbox. But now how do I select it? All right. I got to go through all of this to, oh, now I'm in over here. Great. I want to be able to just select the task. I want to be able to jump right into it. I want the focus to be over there. I want to be able to add my description, right? To add my description and not grab my mouse here, I've got to go to the keyboard and hit tab all the times you just saw. This is not great. I don't like this. Uh, it really just needs to be uh, the ability to select that task easily. Now there is, I think it's a question mark. I'm going to get out of here. Click over there. Yeah, there you go. So there are other keyboard commands, right? I can save, I can sync with the dot, I can cancel, undo, redo. There's all this stuff here, right? Add task, add task below. So there's some here, right? And here's our quick add uh, highlighting, right? Set due date. So it was the star, which I missed earlier. Priority, set tag, uh, move to a certain list, add to a member. So right, there's some collaboration here. I can complete tasks with tab N. Again, context dependent, doesn't always work. Uh, pin a task, delete tasks, right? There's some things I can do here. Tab D will do some stuff. But again, if I am in here, right? So I hit tab M, it just gave me an M. I hit tabbed and then hit M. So it's not actually system wide. These are not uh, around all the time, unfortunately. Then one of my final issues uh, really is tick tick itself being not very stable on Linux. At least once a day, it crashes on me, something happens with it, and it's just gone. And I really can't have that. I, I, I just don't want to do it. I can't do it. I need to be able to just rely on it, that it's up, that it's around, and that I can enter tasks into it as soon as I want all the time. Not that I go to do it and it's stopped. I need to see it all the time. Uh, now, this could be because of Fedora. Uh, it could be, I, honestly, I actually don't even care. It's like when I say uh, Mac OS, when they say, oh, your window scaling doesn't work right because of the pixels. That's why it's, I don't actually care why Mac OS does this. It shouldn't. It should just look good on my screens. It doesn't matter. I don't have the Apple monitor. So tick, tick. It should just work on my device. That's it. I don't care what the reason is. I just want it to work. So then my questions are, do I stick with tick, tick? Now, I don't know. Um, if I really, I probably am not going to, I'm going to look for something else. And there's some options I could look at. I could look at Todoist. Uh, we actually use it as a grocery list in the family already. Um, I don't really love Todoist though. Something about it just always rubs me the wrong way. So I actually have looked at, let's bring up my screen share, uh, Planify. It's probably going to come up oh, right there. So Planify right here. This is good. And theoretically, it syncs with Tick Tick, or sorry, with uh, Todoist, right? I've got my uh, account, sync your favorite account, Todoist is set up, great. But if you notice here, I only have a grocery list. That's it. I have added multiple projects on the Todoist side. I added a project here that I went to sync over to um, Todoist is just to check the sync, just to see if this works, didn't work. So I'm gonna say Planify, probably not gonna be the option I go for. Uh, other options are Super Productivity. That's an interesting app. So let me show you that one. Super Productivity. If we go here. Oh. Super Productivity is an interesting app. Uh, I Again, I've looked at it briefly. Uh, and right, it's got plan, track, and summarize. It does some... Uh, time tracking for you as well. Uh, it will connect to Jira, GitLab, and GitHub, something I could use, uh, especially with GitHub. Uh, I can take care of myself, right? Working productively means working smarter rather than harder. So it does time tracking. It owns your data. So we keep it all locally. So that's good. Um, I tried it out, again, just briefly over the weekend. I wasn't so sure about the um, keyboard commands as well. But that's still an option, right? Superproductivity.com. Another one is Task Warrior. And this is a very nerdy command line terminal based one. So it literally just is terminal. So I have it installed. Let's bring up my terminal for us. And you actually see two of them here. So 
what you're looking at right now is neo or sorry nvim.org but if i go uh, right if i go task list you can see i have some tasks already in there so this one you interact with it through your terminal there's reports there's a bunch of interesting stuff with it it also integrates with a tool called time warrior so that i could look at time track my time that way and that is interesting and there are possible apps to sync back and forth between uh your device your like your phone and your um and your lists here you have to run a task server which is fine not necessarily opposed to that but there's no files like I don't know if I can explain it. So if I go over to here's the other option, right, is um, Vim org mode or uh, New org. So where I actually have files, right, I can look in here and you can see that I have files right there, right? So I can actually go in and I can browse these org files right on my machine. I can see them, I can edit them uh, in anything I want. Uh, and that is yeah, nice. That's I really like it. So it does lots of stuff like, you know, let's go over to here and I can say leader OA and I can choose my agenda for the current week and I can see this is everything I'm supposed to do today, All right? So I have my ref file, which is like your inbox, so ref, refile. Uh, I can see all the different uh, tasks, some of which I've just come up today, right? I need to call about my wife's Christmas present. Uh, I can look at the Somerville launch and I can go directly to these tasks if I want. There's lots of things I can do with them. Uh, to edit them. And there's also Neorg. So that is Neorg. Uh, Neorg. And this is, from my brief research, not the same as org mode. This is a re envisioned org mode um, for NeoVim. And I use NeoVim anyway, so that's fine with me. Uh, it's so Neo new organization mode. It does a lot of same stuff that uh, org mode does. It just doesn't do it in exactly the same way, right? Does the same markup, does calendars. Uh, they both actually do um, time tracking as well, if you want that. Uh, so you can clock in and clock out. So and then I actually also had someone said, hey, you should install Emacs and you should just use org mode. Like forget this and Vim stuff, just use org mode. Uh, if you're gonna go for it, just go for it. And that's fine and all, but I tried a little bit this weekend. I couldn't get it working at all. So so when I can't get it working, that means it's just not gonna work for me at the moment. Uh, I might dig into it a little bit more and test it out. Because really what I'm looking for over the next couple of weeks, is I've already watched a bunch of videos, uh, my bike ride on the weekend on my trainer, but I will watch more videos and I will eliminate some options, right? I think I've already eliminated Planify. Um, I'm probably not going to look at to do list. I've used to do this before. Something about it just uh, I don't like. Uh, super productivity is still a maybe. I'm probably not going to use Task Warrior. Kind of like having files I can touch. Right? I entered some tasks into Task Warrior, and it works fine enough. But I want to see files I can touch. Uh, Neorg is I'm hesitant on because it is uses in .dot n org file, norg file instead of a .dot org file. So nvim.org uses a .dot org file, which means I can use like existing Emacs stuff. Uh, and as to have an app on my phone that I could interact with my org files with. I have to figure out one sync um, clearly, but yeah, that's reasonably easy. I just have a web dev server and I could do that with my Synology behind me. Uh, I could set up a web dev server for both that they communicate back and forth. That's not that big a problem. That's the next two weeks is to really evaluate which options I'm going to do so that I can hit the ground running on December 15th ish and really dive into it. So I've been trying to use uh, NVIM org mode today just as my task manager and keeping tick tick off to the side as. Uh, kind of my backup. So everything has to get dual entry for a little bit as I do this. That's why it's, it's so expensive to choose and why I'm going to watch some videos and try to eliminate just eliminate options I'm not even going to look at. Um, I can spend a week or two with each one uh, and then make a decision for January 1st. And that's my task manager for the year. Not looking back. <laughs> Don't look back. It's not worth it. There's so much effort to make a switch that you just more often than not need to stick with what you got. But I need more keyboard control. I need it to work on Linux. It just needs to work. Uh, and I want to own my data. That's another thing I really like to own my data. Tick, tick, I start, sync off to their servers, but I'd rather own my data. So I'm hoping to find something that does local sync where I can see all the files. That's it. If you liked the video, thumbs up below. Subscribe, hit the bell. YouTube will let you know something happened. Uh, realistically, don't, don't, don't hit the bell. <laughs> Go hang with your kids, read a book, do some work. Uh, otherwise, uh, support the channel, curtismichael.ca slash membership, or take a course, curtismichael.ca slash education. Have an awesome day.